Welcome guys. On this video, I'm going to show you how to add new products on your catalog or a new catalog on your WhatsApp business. Now let's dive into that. Go ahead and open your WhatsApp application. And on this bottom right area, you are going to see where it says uh, tools. Click on tools. And now you are going to notice where it says catalog over here. You click on that. Now it's going to load up and show you the existing catalog. So to add a new item, you click on new item, which is a new product. But to add a new collection, which is actually a category, you click on new collection. So I'm going to add a new item by clicking on this area. So I'm going to uh, put an image of the product by going to my gallery. Uh, I think I'm okay with this. It did not select. Double click or just click on it once. And then you forward and save. And then uh, you can add more images if you have more images of the product. But I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to say men's shoes. Um, there is actually an error here. Change that. Men's shoes. Next, you add the price of the product. Now, depending on whichever price you want to sell it, this is the exact price that displays for the user. And also, it automatically changes to your currency depending on your location. So, um, I'm okay with that. And then you can add a sales price. This is actually optional. You can leave this default. I think it's okay if it's default. Then you can make it more visible by adding description. Um, All right, now the reason for adding description is so that if the person is watching this, it's going to be easier for them to actually know what they are buying. Now, if you do not add the description, it can turn the person away because they are not able to know what they are buying. Now, if it's an item that goes out of stock, this is the reason why they put this option. So if it's out of stock, you can click on hide this item and the item will no longer be displayed. That means you have actually sold out of this particular stock. But if you are okay and you want to publish this, just go ahead and hit save on the top area. You click on save and then it's going to start saving. After I finish saving, WhatsApp is going to review this thing and then allow it to be published. Now you notice it says item saved, but it's still under review. This is the item. So whenever somebody feels this product, they can actually see it and then you notice it says this item is being reviewed. Do not worry, it's going to be approved. But if it's actually something that is actually against their policy, things they don't do, they are not going to approve it. So this is the pro amount of the product, this is the shoe size, and then you can notice the description right here. So make sure you actually make it more easier for them to understand. So whenever you create a new collection or a new catalog or a new group, you click on this area and then you can say shoes. Now once you're done, you click on this down area to remove the uh, keypad and then you click on next. Now, when you click on next, you can now choose all of the men's shoes available. There is only one. I'm going to say done. Now, you can edit this whenever you want to because it's always available. So, you click on done and that is it. So, whenever you want to edit an existing one, you can always go ahead and find the catalog on that particular area. So, I think this is okay. I'm just going to back out. Now, let's say this existing one. Um, this is an existing item or existing catalog or group. Now you can click on it and it's going to bring you here. Click on the pencil icon. You can edit the product however you want. Just the same thing uh, that you can do for the shoes. Now go to the shoes area, click on the pencil icon, edit whatever you want, add a link or item code if you want, and then you hit save once you're done. That is how you edit the product if you have them. So let me know if you have further questions regarding this. Uh, I am going to leave it on there. And also, guys, you can always delete by clicking on this area and then you select delete or you hide. So um, let me know on the comment section if you have any question that you, um, that you feel concerned about and you want to know. Let me know on the comment section and I'm going to hopefully answer to that. And guys, thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe and peace.